Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. Today is obviously a content day because I think this is like video number four for today, for sure. Like, for sure. So obviously I already have on my ball cap. Y'all know cornrows are in and tucked away. If you guys did not get a chance to check out my how to cornrow your hair, then definitely make sure to uh, check out that video so that you can get a super flat install because we do not need you guys to be having no mountainous units all right <laughs> okay so today's video is of course sponsored in collaboration with kalai hair obviously the wig is already out of here y'all know how it goes and i've been making it a habit to like style my wigs fresh out of the box because that's how you guys are gonna get it like let's just be honest most companies are not sending out wigs that are like ready to wear unless you are I don't know, like a custom wig company. For the most part, it's, it's going to be rare that you're going to be able to literally pull it out and put it on. So I want to show you how to go from start to finish. And um, yeah, y'all know how we do it. Okay, let's get into the video. Now, <laughs> the inside of the box didn't really have a whole lot. It was just literally the wig, a wig cap, and then like this little band here, which I think, let me look at it. Okay, so it's one of those like bandu type of uh, wraps, which actually would be really nice to wear like over your wig if you were having like a bad hair day. But I'm not really the biggest fan of like um, cheetah print or leopard print. So yeah, this will be one that I'll probably wear around the house, but still really cute and soft. Then there is, and then there is the actual wig itself. So obviously there's like a bunch of paper in here, which to be honest, I don't know the purpose in the paper. Um, when I used to ship out my own wigs, of course y'all know, forevercrissy.com. Um, yeah, like with the custom wigs, which I have not done in a while. I have not sold a wig just in a while, especially on my website. We'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, like I'd never package the wigs with the paper because I never understood what the purpose really was. And then, of course, there is the actual wig. So you guys can see straight out of the gate. You guys, this hair is super, super, super soft. Sometimes when I'm recording a video and then I have to go back, edit it, and then do the voiceover, sometimes I forget about the initial feelings that I had when I saw the unit. And um, this is a really, really soft texture wig. Now, I'm taking a look at the lace, and it definitely looks like it is more of like a light brown color. I'm seeing that the knots are already bleached. I'm not seeing that it was like pre-plugs or anything I kind of want you guys to take a look at this as well um but obviously you guys are gonna see it on my head what I've been wanting to do is like some type of bangs but the question is is that what we're gonna do today I don't know it's giving Bobiana. that's what I'm thinking I think we're doing a bob today yeah let's get into it so while I'm actually cutting off the lace, uh, sidebar story, while I was recording the other video, <laughs> um, it required a little bit of heat and I ended up actually uncurling my lashes because I guess the blow dryer was a little too powerful. <laughs> so now y'all, mind you, I just did these lash extensions like literally a few hours ago. And so now they're straight. There's that, okay? There's that. So, so of course, once you get your wigs, you definitely want to make sure to cut off like this extra, it's just extra lace, honestly. And it, it kind of helps the company know that like, hey, you haven't already worn this. So obviously if you get a unit and you double check the packaging and you're like, eh, this is not what I ordered, do not cut the lace off. Please make sure to go ahead and just send it right on back. Um, but yeah, so I just cut off the ear tabs here and then I already have the cap pretty much adjusted. There is no additional like elastic adjustable band on the inside. Every now and then I'm okay with that, especially for wigs like this. I'm about to cut this into a bob. So it's kind of like, it doesn't really matter. You want it to fit snug, but in order to get it as snug as possible, you're going to want to make sure to adjust the elastic band, which is on the cap itself. All right, now that I have the wig on, I'm literally eating my words because now that I have the wig on, I actually can feel that this needs to be tighter. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is go ahead and adjust the band a little bit more and then put this back on again. So the other thing that I want to do just to kind of help my wig really fit snug is I have this um, wig grip which of course is available on my Amazon store. 
and it has these little prongs that literally adhere to the wig in any spot so we're gonna see if that makes it better I did go ahead and adjust the band and you guys can see I put it a little bit closer than what it was before and then keep in mind wherever you adjust your band once you cut the cut is going to be according to where you adjusted the band to. So obviously, you shouldn't be sharing wigs with people anyway. I don't think that's what you're going to be doing. So it won't matter too much. But I'm only saying that so that when the time comes for you to wash it, reinstall it, all that, you want to remember where you put the bands. All right, much better. All right, so I went ahead and just flipped up the lace just so I can kind of get a really good look at what's going on with the wig. You guys, I can feel... The cap is just a little too big for my head. I can actively feel that. Although it's feeling like snug and it's not going anywhere, I probably should have downsized in a cap. So <laughs> noted, these caps are pretty stretchy. Straight out of the gate, what I want to go ahead and do is define the part. Typically, I will go ahead and just kind of lay down the wig in the meantime as well. So I'll do both at once. And yeah, we'll kind of go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly lay this down, which you guys have seen me do a million times. And my mind is super simple. <laughs> <laughs> and super easy but I want to show you just how quick you guys can get this done so of course y'all know my new favorite product has been the pump it up it's not new y'all know OD but goody um, I'm gonna go ahead and use that all around the perimeter of my hair my hairline so I'm literally gonna move all this back and spray So I'm going to need Bronner, okay, we're going to have to tell Bay to let the family know um, that we need to put this pump it up in an aerosol can because if we're going to be replacing Gotta Be Glue, then it definitely needs to make sense. So uh, put it in the comments just so I can let them know because, you know, they hear from me and it's like, okay, Chrissy just saying it. But like, I need you guys to really tell them like we need this in an aerosol, okay? So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this around the hairline. And y'all know I usually put my wigs on and then take them right back off. So you don't want to do this with makeup just because we believe in healthy skin. Okay. And once you get it on there, go ahead and just pull this down. Right over the areas where you just spray the spray. Alright, now how big do we... <laughs> Look, how big do we want the forehead to be today, okay? We are gonna fake it a little bit. Now, I am going to go ahead and actually cut off some of this lace just because it's in the way. And I actually don't need it. I need to be able to see. Now that we have that, you guys can get a full look at the hairline. The reason I want to do a bob on this unit is because I don't feel like plucking. It's already bleached. We're going to do something really nice and sleek and then kind of add a little bit of curls to it. So I'm loving these type of videos just because it allows me to be kind of creative and decide what it is I want to do. Um, but I am going to go around the hairline. Now, I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube with people using elastic bands. Y'all, make sure to wash these. Right now, the only reason mine is dirty is because I've literally recorded four videos today in one day, okay? <laughs> um, so, I want you guys to be well aware. Like, do not use this. Especially, y'all doing tutorials with dirty, like, come on. Okay, we, I'm gonna stop talking. Anywho, go ahead and just slide this back, put it right against the hair, and then proceed to kind of style. Because what's going to happen from here is while it's in the middle of like melting down, you don't have to use a blow dryer or nothing. And now we want to go ahead and kind of define this middle part. So I know a lot of times we want to use any type of comb. You really want a metal one because for whatever reason, we are able to really, really, really define these parts. So I'm going to take a little bit of mousse, just a small bit, just to make sure we can kind of get it to where it needs to be i already have my hot comb heating up along with the flat iron and yeah so here's another secret i only have I had a little bit of like cream of nature mousse in this container probably like this much so i went ahead and filled up the rest with the Bronner brother uh professionals uh foam wrap and y'all I, I honestly i've fallen in love with that product all right there we go Put a little bit more mousse because what this does is kind of sets the hair, right? So unless you're dealing with a wig that's really, really just chaotic and you figure, okay, I probably need to go ahead and just wash this. I don't feel 
that way about this hair. It feels super soft, super silky. And right now I'm not getting like any shedding, which obviously would be a problem because baby, we just put it on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to determine where I want this bob to lay, which to be honest, I'm kind of in a mood for something like funky. I haven't done a bob that's been about here in a while. So I think that this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and section out a little bit of hair right before you get to the back of my earlobe. So from here to here, uh, rhymes with ear to ear, okay? Right in front of the earlobe. That's the hair that I'm gonna get up and out the way. Alrighty, so both sides are pretty much even. Boom, boom. Don't worry yourself too, too much about it if they are not absolutely perfect. I promise you, we're going for more like a messy bob. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pretty much just brush. I'm going to go ahead and brush everything backward. And the goal is to brush all of this hair. At the length that you want it. So... If I want my bob to sit here, I'm going to go ahead and gather all the hair here so that that's where it falls. So if I want my hair to sit at a certain angle, I'm not going to put the ponytail up high. I'm actually going to drag all the hair downward towards the nape of my neck. I'm actually going to use a rubber band to hold this extremely tight. That way, if I cut it, it really won't matter. So I'm taking the combination of three rubber bands. I feel like you can see something through here. This is a cap. And I want it to hit about here. So this is where I'm going to place the rubber band. I want to make sure that you are not tilted. You want to directly be facing forward. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and literally cut right below the rubber band. All right, so we have a little stub. Voila. So the reason I don't put all the hair with it is because if for any reason we mess this cut up, <laughs> You want to be able to at least make sure that the front is hitting the points that you want it to. So far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and I can already see that the, the bob is going to hit exactly where I need it to. It's going to kind of have a nice little stack to it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just release it. Bada bink. Boom. All right, so now we can kind of focus on the front. We can already see where the hair is kind of lining up. You can decide if you want to kind of keep this dramatically long, if you want to go ahead and right there, or if you want it to be a one length bob and call it a day. Me, I'm actually going to go ahead and just follow this line here. I'm just going to angle it a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm noticing that this side is just a little teensy tiny bit shorter than this side. I can see the heaviness, the way that I was gearing the scissors to. So you want to go ahead and, y'all, I don't know how I'm making this seem like it's just so easy. Um, but you just have to be confident, okay? Like, you can confidently fuck up your hair, though. <laughs> That's the thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a razor comb and literally just follow this line to get rid of all that extra hair. Voila, we got a nice cute little bob. So now that I'm gonna, now that I pretty much have everything situated, I'm gonna go ahead and literally hit this with the, um, I'm just gonna hit it with the hot comb. And y'all know my my real love <laughs> is the camera by iron spray. At this point, Kenra, why, why do I not have a sponsored video? Like what's going on? Okay. 
Okay, so let me show you how easy this is. Already, I can go ahead and remove this. It's given very much Lord Farquaad as we speak. <laughs> but I want to go ahead and just cut off this lace. And Voila! So now we have the wig on, right? That part is so easy to solve, all right? Now let's just get into trying to make this uh, Laura Farquaad give what it needs to give, because right now it's not doing that. All that I'm gonna do from here is pretty much just throw um, a few like random curls in it because y'all see like technically this is the look. <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and kind of carve out this part a little bit more and you can just use foundation. I do actually have this like wig knot healer but it's from a different company so I don't wanna cross promote. So we still kind of want to keep some shape, so I'm not going to do too, too much with the bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of lightly layer curl um, up the rest. So y'all know, using my EAP Heat, so this is their one inch flat iron, and I'm just going to go like in different directions. You can go back and forth. You can do like one curl forward, one curl back. You don't have to worry too much about the ends because it's really, really, really not going to matter. All right, so don't touch it as you're curling it. Just curl it and keep going, girl. Keep going. Whatever falls at the bottom, just let it fall. I promise you. And to kind of create that little hump effect, I like to go ahead and just kind of put a little bend in it, going forward, and then I flip it back. Beautiful. And you never even have to worry about baby hair, none of that, because what? And I do want to go back and just make sure that like some of these little pieces, so I'm going to curl this one forward all right to so really like pump up the volume pump up the volume <laughs> And remember what I said, don't touch it, baby, don't touch it. Go ahead and actually get you some hairspray. So the hairspray that I'm gonna use to go ahead and kind of set everything into place is actually the Mazzani. This is their styling finish and polish. It acts as like a humidity, like resistant spray. So it should help your curls kind of last a little bit longer, but you wanna do it at a distance. And you, I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna go spray it over there. There we go. Lordy. All right, so I can already feel that it's like locked in, but I wanna go ahead and kinda just take on my hand a little bit of shine. I'm just, so that was just a cream of nature shine um, polisher that I was using. You guys can use whatever you feel comfortable with. The hair is already silky and shiny. You really don't even need it, um, but you guys can see what I'm doing to the curls. I'm just scrunching them up. 
and I'm using my fingers to just play with this because like why not let's focus on the sides and not these front two curls because these are the face framing curls without actually having to cut the layer do all that craziness we want to make sure that we just focus here and just literally pick this apart as you see fit so if you even notice like right here like I'm seeing girl we need a little bit more curl okay I want to split this into two and I want to do one going this way and then the other one I'm going to make it go backward. The best way to know which direction to kind of like curl it in is where do you want the volume? Do you want the pieces to kind of lift up going towards your face? Do you want it to kind of alternate back and forth? I like for it to look a little bit heavier on the sides of my hair. Um, just because I feel like with a bob, I really want that volume. And so you guys can see just how nicely stacked this is. Hold on. Let's go ahead and play with this one little bit you see I always love this side of my bobs the best I don't know <laughs> Pull this one out and kind of like place it where you want it to go. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. This is the look we're going for. This is like the most beginner friendly bob you're probably going to see. <laughs> um, as long as you don't mess up the rubber band cut, like don't mistakenly cut the rubber band, you should be okay. Let's talk of Annie. Let's talk about her. Y'all, let's just get into this wig transformation. First of all, you guys saw where we started and this is where we are. So I absolutely love messy bobs, especially when they're like this quick. <laughs> I am here for it. Let me know what you guys think about it. I haven't done a bob in a while, especially a messy bob. Like, what? And the hair is still super soft. And the key to a messy bob is just understanding that like less is definitely more. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely let me know what you uh, think about it down below. I am obsessed, y'all. Look at the back. Look at the side. Lord, far, godmother. Okay. That's what you need to address me as. Because, baby, okay. The transformations are here, okay? The summer is approaching, y'all know. Typically, at summertime, it's like protective style. We're going crazy. So I'm pumping out these last wig videos so that we can kind of get these out the way so that we can really focus on our natural hair because y'all, we have some growth <laughs> that I'm super excited to like share with you. Just the whole journey, how we got there, all that good stuff. So if you haven't already, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being a part of Sunflower Gang. I will see you in my next video. Bye, babies.